You're back. We're back. We got more comedy on the channel. We got Don Rickles for the first time. This was a heavily requested comedian that we had to get on the channel. Yes. So we've got his 50 most savage burns and insults. <laughs> This should be right up our alley gate based on the comedians we've done thus far. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like like insults and like burns and roasts are like sometimes some of the most funny ones. Well, we'll see, though, because he's a, an older comedian. Mm. So there may be jokes in here that uh, wouldn't fly today, we'll yeah. say. I don't know uh, particularly what to expect, but I have heard Don Rickles is pretty ruthless. <laughs> so... We'll find out momentarily, but we did want to let you know that you can check out a lot of comedians on our channel. We got tons. Yeah, tons. So now. if this is your first time coming to the channel, you should hit that subscribe button because like I said, we've got, I don't know, 80 videos of comedy. We also do all different kinds of genres of music and we do a little bit of sports as well. So we got lots of entertainment on the go. Two videos every single day that you can expect from us. We don't plan to stop anytime soon. No. 100,000 subscribers in one year. We'd like to have you on board as another one. So if you want to hit the button now, we'd appreciate Appreciate it. If not, if you want to check out this video, maybe think about it towards the end. That's cool too. And if you want to watch this and move on, no worries. We're here for a good time. And uh, before we start, we have a little bit of a pop quiz question for you. And that we question do. is, Samantha. Upon graduating from high school, Don Rickles had a very interesting job. What was it? Yeah. Think about it. Yes. And if you know it, drop it in the comments. If not, it's got to stick around because I'm going to let you know at the end. Yeah. No worries. Anyways, uh, you've enjoyed our comedy experience thus far on the channel? Loved it every second of it and it's hard almost to pick a every second of it yeah it's hard to pick a favorite because we've done so many yes and uh we've done some family guy we've done some all, all yeah. different kinds of kinds of comedy not just stand up yeah right? lots of different styles like we've done some that are more like crowd work like stand up but still crowd work we've done ones that are like yeah. bits we've done the like pre-rehearsed kind of video ones we've done the animated tv show ones yeah so. the sketches that you're talking yeah, about yeah there's right? been yeah. tons yeah anyway so you guys are probably ready. I'm ready. You're ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some Don Riggle's 50 Most Savage Burns and Insults. And I love the black people. We need you people. I swear, because no Jew's going to make up a train. <laughs> Be funny. First black kid I ever saw, he'll definitely never play basketball. <laughs> Bob Newhart made the claim that he was my closest friend. I have never met Bob Newhart. <laughs> I'll put it to you another way. Bob Newhart goes to many gay parties. Oh, Julia Roberts, you live next to me at the beach, you know that. <laughs> Thanks for all the visits. Anyway... Uh... I'm living about two blocks from you. The broad never shows up. Come by and say hello. We're closer than two blocks. <laughs> you have no lines, Julia. Just nod. <laughs> anyway. Uh... This man was married to a great many women in his life. They're all flat now. <laughs> but I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which they keep it quiet. You know, Robert Redford's Jason Robots. Were you on uh... scholarship, though? Uh, no, no, no. I just walked in and started acting. <laughs> Uh, you don't get a scholarship, you pay. You got oh, to audition. Well, don't I be thought... a dumbbell. I hate a dumbbell. <laughs> I mean, read the paper, know the questions. I mean, what is it, stump the stars? No, no. I, was... I come out and it's my trademark. I tend to maybe jump around a little bit. What do you really think about it? I think you're making a fool of yourself. <laughs> Don, you're Bad getting. Move. Am I right? Are you getting gray? Yes, Larry, I'm getting older. <laughs> Doing shows like this. <laughs> Phyllis Diller, you're a dear friend, and I must tell you, God bless you. God has given you the way you look. Do not be ashamed of it. When you were born, you probably hit the wall. I kicked a black man, and you know that, baby. And you were beautiful to tell. Telly is a great Greek, and you're a great black man, and I'm a Jew. And I say this from my heart. On behalf of the Greeks and the Jewish people, don't move into the neighborhood. Look at all these beautiful people here to pay tribute to you. The senator, Rich Little, Paul Lind on the end. Paul, if you want to order, do it now. The kitchen's going to close. <laughs> Sorry about your seat, Paul. Why don't you get a pillow so you can see us? <laughs> De Niro is sitting there. God bless you, Bob. He's got the beard on. You, to, to know him is a treat. He's one of the great actors of our time. You ask him. Uh, <laughs> you ask him. He'll tell you. Chinese, right? Chinese? This girl here? If you're not, get your eyes fixed. <laughs> Look at 
the Chinese boat sitting there going, who's Chinese? Who's Chinese? You in the Air Corps? Yes, I am. Ours? <laughs> Would you rise? Put a rubber band on your can and you can take off. You're a big son of a gun. My gun. You ever think of putting a window on your face and becoming a building? <laughs> My kid, Sammy. You're a black man. I took a guess. If you ain't black, you fell into a bucket of M&M's, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Over here, buddy, over here, oh. right here. What are you staring at them for? No, they, that was so sweet to, to stand up. I, I guess the underwear stuck. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, really. You, when you get older, you know, and you get that kind of reception, you, you want to walk away and say, why am I with him? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I heard she gave you an iPad. Did, did you think that was a woman's product? Well, well, did you even know what it was? Yeah, an iPad, you know, that's the truth. I know nothing about if the you know, television goes uh, the, with the blinking uh, uh, midnight. I don't, I don't know the first thing about it. But now I got an iPad. The television stays on after midnight now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how about, how about, how about shut up? <laughs> I bring love and I bring Mr. peace. T. And I bring kindness and warmth. I love the black people. What is that haircut? The black people of my life. Have you not seen Mr. T before? I don't know who that is. You don't know who Mr. T is? No. Or should I? Everybody knows who Mr. T is. Who's Mr. T? He's just, he's like one of the pop culture figures of all. Anyways, back to Don Rickles. Um, what are your thoughts so far? I think that he is definitely a savage and does not hold back. I could say you can see the different uh, eras that he's going through. Like it's not kind of like starting at the beginning and going on. It's kind of skipping around. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things that have gone over my head. I didn't yeah, really know what he was talking about, but yeah, it's funny. Yeah. He's got uh, definitely the insult comedy. That's his, yes. that's his thing for sure. Doesn't really give any F's. No. At all. And you can tell in some of the older ones, definitely jokes that were probably acceptable back then wouldn't go as far now, probably. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really heard anything that's been too mind-blowing to me. Of course, the racial jokes, Yeah, I right? do feel like, like that's what people are more touchy but about the, now. But the people that are going to want to cancel that kind of stuff anyway, it's like they're going to find different things to cancel yeah, nowadays. So, yeah. you know, it's all relevant, I think. And yeah. uh, it's not been anything like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. Like, I've honestly heard stuff from... I remember like Ricky Gervais said something about um, like Nazis and Hitler and stuff like that and like made light of that whole situation mm -hmm. related to the Holocaust and hopefully we don't get a censor now that I said that on YouTube. Yeah. But to me, like that was more of something that I would be like, whoa, about like than shock something value. like this. Yeah. I don't know, but that's my personal opinion. Everybody's going to feel differently about different jokes, I guess, right? This haircut, I can't. <laughs> The black people of my life, my world, they do what they're told. <laughs> We're honoring Mr. T. Why? <laughs> I met this man many, many years ago in a 7-Eleven store and he said, give me your money. <laughs> Remember the words of a great Negro. I say that honestly. All peoples are alike. We are all working. You live in my neighborhood. I live in yours. Right, Sam? Right. Are you crazy? <laughs> Chinese, Japanese, Filipino, my ass, you're a Jap. I'll tell you this. Three years in the jungle looking for your uncle. I'll tell you this. Walking around going, oh. No, I kid you, we're all brothers. <laughs> God bless you, my friend. What is your first name? Joe? Joe, my ass, Joe. During World War II, they were all Joe. You're a Jew, you gotta be. With that nose, if you're not, you're an eagle. I'll tell you this. <laughs> Milton Burrow, my idol since I'm a kid. But now, Milton, I say this from my heart. Show business in your life, thyself be thee with your new book, Love Thee and Know Thyself, Milton. He's old, he understands. <laughs> Phyllis Diller, ladies and gentlemen, who, when she was born, God ran out of clay and made her face trick-or-treat Charlie. <laughs> her former husband said on the wedding night, No! <laughs>
We know each other a long time. We do. Uh, you, uh, I know you as one of the finest uh, uh, impressionists. You do, you do great impressions. Thank you. Besides that, I'm delighted that you have a show because you're fresh, you're funny, you're great. And I want you to know something. From my heart, I never liked you. <laughs> What's your first name, my darling? Jewel. Jewel? And how long have you been married? Two years. He's 300 pounds. Don't you get worried when he makes his move? <laughs> Just up there and do what you're doing now. No. <laughs> no. But do you, do you do a little exercise? Yeah, I ride a bike. Mm -hmm. Well, recumbent bike. Right. Twice a day. Do you watch what you eat? Let me finish, huh, Dave? <laughs> I know it's your show, but I have a little courtesy. I'm huh? sorry. A little respect. For, I, I I'm much older than you. I understand. And I'm by the way, that snow is getting a little brighter up there. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you. I spoke to the people in Bethlehem. They expect you. <laughs> nice to see you, Jeff. What do you do for a living, Jeff? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nice to see you. What do you do for a living, Mr. Collis? I'm an optometrist. Oh, wonderful. I hope it goes away. <laughs> Maybe that would be all right for you, an optometrist. <laughs> Better than sitting around on the beach all day waiting for birds to die. You go look, look, look at the Filipinos. Are you, are you Filipinos? Oh, God, two and a half years. Two and a half years looking for your uncle. <laughs> Navy, World War II, big one, big one. Cebu, Taklovin, Lingayan Gulf, Mindanao. I was there. All, all, all. I'll be with you in a minute. All right. <laughs> All trees, all jungle, now big cities, wonderful. We went up to Manila, and MacArthur's still sitting there going, am I dead? God bless you, great country. I'm not going back there. No, no. <laughs> and in fact, uh, in fact... Oh, he's killing me so far. He's, he's very sharp. Yeah, and all his little, like, side commentary and stuff. Oh, yeah, great. Just great crowd work and, you know, interacting with people in the audience. Yeah, like, especially he's still nowhere. doing that when he's so old. Yeah, just literally pointing somebody out, yeah. you know, and uh, just being able to, you know, even that one girl, you could tell that she was so <laughs> hesitant about her having a conversation with him because she was like, Oh crap. I'm like, here to, do we go? I'm about to get roasted. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, so you guys know there's definitely a reference in some of these jokes to the pop quiz question yes. that we asked in the beginning yeah. about what his, uh, job was his interesting job of, out of high school. And so we'll tell you that right now in that, uh, he was in the United States Navy. That was yes. his job straight out of in the, world war two. Uh, yeah. He was a seaman. So that's what he's referring to in these yeah, jokes, is that he was fighting in World War II. Yeah, and, and he uh, said, spent two and a half years looking for your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me uh, one of those, uh, you know, he's got a lightning bolt. Is the, a uh, lightning bolt? Yeah. What do I have to, is this a playback? <laughs> he's got a what lightning bolt? What the hell's the matter? Everything I say, I get the feeling, I got a problem. I'm he's okay. like a pen. Can you hear him? <laughs> the guy here in the front, snap out of it, huh? <laughs> An old guy right in the front going, what a night, what a night. What are you talking to that Russian about? You must sit, oh, look at the way you dress, the tuxedo's out of style, class it up a little bit. He's wearing a fake dickie when the button goes, boom. <laughs> Mr. President, get some guy that's a little hep, get some guy walking in, let's talk, man, let's talk. <laughs> He's 90, let's have a meeting. That's what they do in Florida, the old Jewish folks. Hold the elevator doors! <laughs> <laughs>
you stop the band. The band. It's a wall. Stop the band. Uh, I, I ask, what, what, what's, what's the occasion? What's the occasion? Tell me the occasion. Who are we honoring? What? Forget him. Who else? <laughs> Gee, it's murder. I gotta come out here. I gotta try to do a job. Uh, 48 hours of entertainers. And, uh, hi, Bob. How are you? I spoke to the home. You're gonna sit up Friday. <laughs> Look at the astronaut sitting over here, Gene Cernan, went to the moon and hasn't been straight since. <laughs> you got a lot of big names here tonight. <laughs> Some of the greats turned out for you. Kay Medford, who had a very busy schedule in downtown Hollywood looking for bad apples. <laughs> nice to see you. Are you Japanese? Chinese? Are you loves this one. Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> We Jews, we love you, especially on Sunday. <laughs> Knock it off. Knock it off. Boy, I can talk. China, very pretty girl. You can't talk to the Chinese like that. We owe them money. <laughs> as long as they keep doing the laundry, everything's good. Oh. Hey, 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 like he says. For the money you're paying, that's a funny joke. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I used to go down the locker room, you know, right. with the Dodgers. In the old days, Tommy would say, Dunham, oh, the best one, he said, go out to the mound and take the picture out on, on appreciation. It is true. And, I, and he, I put on the uniform. I said, Tommy, you'll get fine. Don't worry. Just go out there. I walk out to the mound. In the game? Huh? In the middle of the game? No, in Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get this show? I don't know. <laughs> You're a moron. We had a wonderful cruise. We went is that the full house guy? I uh, didn't notice. I was sitting beside him. Uncle Jesse. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the pods? So we got a couple of minutes left here. Um, in terms of Don, he's obviously clearly savage and uh, has no holds barred, like we said. He likes to reference the Chinese, the Filipinos quite often. Yeah, I think he like likes a lot of race-related or like cultural-related jokes, for sure. Well, yeah, I, I think that's part of his bit as well, right? He probably goes into it like knowing that he's going to see some... Yeah you know asian people or jewish that. people or whatever yeah, in the audience or, and he's got yeah. those kind of prescripted some to some degree yeah, to use for like audience play yeah exactly yeah. and uh unless he sees somebody like the guy that uh you know had the long hair in the audience and then he kind <laughs> of just rolls with it that was a good one <laughs> um but uh i think it you know like I said, he's kind of thought through some of the jokes, yeah. but maybe adds, you know, some improvisation throughout. Yeah. He's definitely like quick and like sharp and witty though. Yeah. yeah. It's just also like you mentioned, seeing him throughout each different time period, mm -hmm. you know, even when he's older, he's still the same person. Yeah. Maybe not quite as, you know, sharp in the delivery and everything, which yeah. is to be expected, but he was still doing the same thing on the talk shows and, uh, people are basically just anticipating what he's going to say. That's going to be provocative <laughs> at that point. Right. Yeah. It was less shock value. It was mm -hmm. more of an expectation. Yeah. Cause they know what to expect from him at that point of years and years and years of him. Yeah, doing this. exactly. Yeah. Went to Vietnam. I, I think I told you about this. Went to China. Who takes a cruise to Vietnam? Oh, well, no. Our life is going to be this, sitting here all day long. My next guest, you don't do anything for crying out loud. <laughs> you sit in the house with your wife, Mavis, going, my next guest. And she says, you're home, moron. You're home. Forget about it. And George Papard, who keeps calling me on the phone saying, why is that black guy getting the bigger lines? <laughs> anyway, uh, George isn't jealous, but when you go to bed tonight, <laughs> try to listen for a clock. Uh, your part, George, is getting smaller and smaller. Tell him what you told me, how you're fed up with the blacks and you don't want them in your neighborhood. Anyway, uh... <laughs> but we need the blacks. Without them, there'd be no Olympics. <laughs> What's your name, dear? Judy Dalton. Judy Dalton. Oh, how are your brothers? <laughs> <laughs> the Dalton gang. Get it, dumbbell? <laughs> you don't see that anymore. Chicken fat on the hair with a part. Clint, I say with due respect, 28 years ago we did Kelly's Heroes and I haven't heard from you since. <laughs> Clint, I say it, nobody else has said it, and I say it from my heart. You're a lousy actor. <laughs> it's 
Spielberg and all these guys at the table. Oh, we know Clint. I know you. Clint's idea of a good time is sitting on a pickup truck watching his dog bark. You know what I've been doing? I've been following you on Twitter. You're on Twitter now. Yeah, and my wife got me on this thing. You know, you write these little da 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 She said it gives you that. That's the way she talks. Gives you something to do. You know? Because <laughs> she's in the other room going... <laughs> <laughs> Shining jewelry all the time. That's what Jews do. They, when they don't work. They just shine... <laughs> hey, I'm a Jew. Don't turn on me, for <laughs> sake. Anybody watch your diet? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I have a steak once in a while, and you know what they always say? Isn't that right? All of that, you don't have to be that, that attentive. You don't have to be that. <laughs> don't give me that. He gives me that crap like he's interested. <laughs> Sugar Ray is a great champion. Sugar, we'd ask you to talk, but you know the blacks, your lips lock. <laughs> So, so I go, you're sit in the dugout, bench, right? Mm -hmm. Tommy says, take the picture out. Take the picture out. Take the pi Why do you keep doing that? I don't know. <laughs> when you make love to your lady, you go, did we do it? Yes, we did. Did we do it? Yes, we did. <laughs> anyway, good what to see you, What was the name again? I'm, I'm... Who cares what her name is? <laughs> Kevin Bacon's, uh, Kevin Bacon's wife. What that's do right. I care? That's well, you're Jewish. That's Kevin Bacon. What so does that got to do with well, what? Well, you I take figured, a name? Well, so I figured it, it's Bacon, and that's a separate... What is this, a Nazi movie? What's Jewish got to do have it or not, he's black. Did I make a big thing out of it? <laughs> <laughs> I say this way, shut up. I hate when a, when a spade butts in. <laughs> now, you say spade one more time and there'll be troops in front of your door tomorrow. <laughs> they can't do nothing because I top dance. <laughs> hey, Josh, uh, this is great. <laughs> you get on top of a farm roof and go, ah! Oh, that was that great might have been one of the best. It. That might have been one of the best ones the whole time. What the last the joke? The cock there? <laughs> yeah, with the feather coat. Love it. Yeah, there was definitely a few of them that went over my head that I didn't catch the references. But mm -hmm. out of fifty, I think I probably caught about eighty of them. So we'll say eighty. Uh, sorry, out of 50. I was like, that's a lot. Eighty percent. I got <laughs> yes. forty out of the fifty. Yeah, I did the math before I told you guys. I did the math, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was cool. Let's see a different comedian. I think like it's, like I said, he has obviously a particular style. Yeah, I don't know if he did any stand up, like standing on stage doing jokes, because yeah. it seemed like he was doing roasts throughout. The this and you know talk shows and yeah and whatever so I, i'm not really sure if he has any stand-up or not you guys can always inform us yeah no definitely a savage and does not hold back that's for sure yeah well i mean don rickles was an introduction that was worthwhile yeah kept us entertained for the full 15 minutes there hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well brought back some memories i think he's an older comedian obviously and like yeah. we said about that question the pop quiz question he was in the united states navy he yep. enrolled after he came out of high school graduated high school was a seaman and so i think that's what he was playing on some of the yeah, jokes there the world war ii era yeah so uh long time ago now uh, I think Don Rickles has passed away. I think it was like five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. I think he passed away. Anyways, um, we got lots of other comedians on the channel, like I said in the beginning. So if you want to jump on this wagon with us and continue checking out more comedians in the future or check out the ones that we've already done, hit the subscribe button yeah. now and uh, make sure you come back tomorrow. Check out our next one. Yes. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.